Hi guys, Dave Waring here again with digitalbrainbase.com. In a previous video, I shared a conversation and presentation from our developer, Beck, on the differences between open web UI pipelines, functions, and tools. In today's video, I wanna share a follow-up to that conversation where Beck walks me through exactly how he created our chat with YouTube pipeline in open web UI. I figured it might be helpful for developers to see an example of this. So I hope you enjoy. So if I was a developer sitting with you and I said, I want you to explain to me how you built, I just watched the video on pipelines and pipes and functions and all of that. You know, now you're showing me an example of a pipeline, right? Um, so this pipeline searches YouTube uh, based on user requests from open web, their open web UI. Uh, it returns results, and then you can chat with those. You can ask it for a transcript. You can ask questions about the video. You can ask it to summarize the video. You can ask it to write an article about the video. You can basically ask the AI to do whatever you want with that yep. YouTube video, right? So how did yep. you go about building that? So first I will do this. I will start from here with this pipe uh, scaffolding project. Uh, sorry. Yes, scaffolding pipeline. Mm. And then, so the main logic will go into here, to this pipe method. And have to think of the ways how I'll do, like how I'll implement the uh, the actual methods that handle the YouTube search. So I will have some method here, and this will be, for now, it's going to be a dummy YouTube search, which will take some parameters like uh, user input, and this is going to be a string. And it will do something with this string. And once it's fine, it will return list of list of videos. We'll not implement it for now, but this is how I will I would just want to explain the high level. And another one will be get to script. This function will receive video ID is an input, or it can be also URL link. Right. And then once it gets this link, it will do query. Then once it, if it's find it, uh, it will extract the transcript, let's say. So the steps here, query two for transcript. In transcript, then transcript. Then this function is going to return script. And so here in this pipe function, I will just call them in in the right order. Uh, sorry, before that, I will need to build some. Uh, Build AI agent as YouTube options. Uh, this YouTube search and get YouTube transcript as LLM tools. Then System prompt. And that's it. The like the overview and the steps that we like. If someone wants to build the same, what we did. Uh, basically, you're building AI agent. You are then creating some tools that you want this agent to have. In this in this case, we wanted to have YouTube search and get YouTube transcript. And this is now it's not implemented. Yes, we'll have to implement the actual, we'll have to do the actual implementation of searching the YouTube or getting YouTube transcript. But basically, in high level, you can understand we are building AI agent, we are passing these custom functions or tools to this LLM, and then we are designing system prompt. In system prompt, we'll say, okay, you are a YouTube agent, uh, uh, like, and you, you can perform these actions like searching for YouTube, getting YouTube transcript, maybe doing something else. 
we put everything this in 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 these instructions in system prompt, and then we just execute this agent. We invoke this agent when it's needed, and it needs to happen in the pipe method, because pipe this is from the like from pipeline environment itself. Um, every pipeline has this pipe method, and it will be provoked to execute whatever you have your custom logic here. Now, if we switch back to the to our actual implementation, you can see that we have actually implemented search YouTube, which receives this query, and then it searches. Um, it uses this package from YouTube search pack, uh, from YouTube YouTube search library. <clears throat> It passes this as query. We specify how many results we want to see. In this case, we say 10. We want the 10 max, maximum results. And then we want this to be returned as JSON object. When this is returned as JSON object, we are doing some cleaning. Like we want only some URLs with this valid video IDs for each video in this response, in this data response. This function returns links to those videos by this query. And you tested this in your example, right? When you ask uh, to search some videos, you will see the links on the screen. This is what this function does. Second function, get YouTube transcript. This is more heavy and more advanced. We're getting uh, from LangChain community and also, yes, uh, LangChain community has uh, like a YouTube loader package. And it's basically, if you remember, I was uh, explaining this YTDL package uh, for YouTube, which is an open source, um, like YouTube quitting uh, project. Grabs the transcript, like, right? Yeah, it's like a wrapper on, on, on top of that. Mm, we All we do, we pass the actual YouTube URL. And where we get this URL, it's from previous step. Or if you paste this link into the chatbot, into chat input directly, you can also say, okay, here's the link, please give me a transcript. Or you can ask us to search for YouTube videos and use the, use the link from that. Anyway, function receives this YouTube URL. And then we pass this YouTube URL to this function from LangChain. And then we say, we don't want any video information. That's why this is false. We want transcript to be in English and translation. If it's not in natively in English, it should be translated to English too. That's what we say here. Then if this is most likely, this will return something. So we're just doing some additional formatting uh, because we want the response to be in certain format. That's what, it, that's what this function does. And now we can scroll back, uh, scroll down here. This is our pipe. Main function, this is the, our, the main logic where it's all happening. This is this pipe function architects or executes all your fun, uh, all your custom logic. Okay, first step here, we are uh, initiating the LLM that we'll be using. This is not the agent or something else. We're just initiating the LLM. In our case, we are using chat open EI, but this can be anything uh, it can be Olama, it can be uh, like uh, Anthropic models, any other LLM provider. This is just the actual language model that will that will be used by our agent framework. So we initiated the NLM, then we define the tools for our agent. Mm. And you, you can see here, we are passing this as a list or an array of function name. Search YouTube, get YouTube transcript. If in the future we want to have like additional uh, features or tools that we want to perform for this, uh, we can say YouTube, no, not YouTube publisher, but maybe a blog post. So we'll go here. Just quickly implement.
publisher and this will receive as an input blog post we will implement the actual method that will be where like where we will will we will be posting it maybe in medium or maybe in your own uh, blog post uh, like in wordpress somewhere and this is going to be through api and we'll we'll in, like maybe uh, install additional packages or libraries to do that but the idea here we will send this blog post generated by uh, llm based on youtube transcript and it will be sent to your blog post uh, if it's wordpress it will be sent there and posted there and at the end it's going to return be some boolean value like true if it's uh, if it was successful or false if it if it failed um, <clears throat> now you can see here this is the we're defining all the tools that will be available to our agent next step after this we will define the system prompt for our agent and we don't 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 look at this like this is the additional like placeholders and things that's from long chain uh, they require this uh, in case like when you're building agents from with long chain we need to specify this the most important part here is this agent uh, sorry system prompt and maybe you notice this you can actually change your system prompt from open web ui interface when you're installing this pipeline in the settings of this pipe in your chat pd2 pipeline you can uh, edit the system prompt and here this is the base system prompt that we every user starts who will use this pipeline and that's it then this part we are building AI, maybe YouTube. Just. We are using this create tool calling agent. This method uh, is provided by Langchain. And you see, we are importing it from Langchain agents. We are importing create tool, create tool calling agent and also agent executor. We are importing these two helper methods from Langchain so we don't have to find this ourselves. First step, we are passing in the model. In our case, is chat open AI. Uh, oh, sorry, open AI. Our tools specified here and our prompt. This is the system prompt. Mm. We pass everything that we built here to an agent execute. And here, where we actually invoke or call this agent. Mm. Is that <laughs> how much? Um, uh, mute. Yeah, no, this is great. That's what I wanted. <laughs>